Hey guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Now that we're into spring, I'm getting back into some worm tests just to see what the little guys can help me dispose of naturally and produce some nice fertile soil. Here's a couple of garden beds that I've featured lots over the uh, time on my channel. Um, the one next to the wall there did have a massive amount of coffee grounds in it. Uh, earlier this year and I've just left it sit not much happened over winter but pretty well all the grounds are gone I've just dug through them uh, saw a few worms there was a couple of little patches but um, these I've just dug them over and there was a couple of patches of sort of coffee ground lumps still it's gone a bit slimy uh, and there was quite a few worms in there before but they've obviously disappeared into the soil but I'm just revamping both these garden beds because uh, they've been out of action for a while I've been busy with other things and this one had a lot of weeds growing in it now I took about three or four big buckets of uh, worm castings and beautiful soil out of this one about a month or two back and then it's just been sitting and a bit neglected there was an old towel on it and that's all that's left so there's still been a bit of worm activity but I just dug through it right down fairly deep and I didn't see any in there uh, but what I'm going to do, or well, just going through the fridge looking for something for lunch yesterday and this got pushed to the back and it was um, a bit of a shame because I love it. Now it's got some nice uh, mould growths on it so it's not going to be eaten anymore. Uh, it's beetroot, or we call it beetroot. Um, in the States it might be just called a beet, I'm not sure. Please add your comments below if you call it something different. Now this is slices of it with a jelly now my mum's always made this and Christine's had a go recently uh, in a sort of a low carb version so there's no sugar in it um, now it's made with jelly I think it's they use lemon jelly and slices of beetroot and it's really delicious now I think Christine's used a little bit of Natvia an artificial sweetener or something like that um, but I'm going to give this to the worms because obviously we don't really want to eat eat uh, this as it is uh, a bit of a shame as I said I love it but um, anyway it got missed in the fridge for some reason so I'm going to spread this out in this bed here uh, there's no worms to be seen of at all in here uh, but then again as I said it hasn't been fed for quite a while and this bed did have some finishing off the coffee grounds so it'd be an interesting experiment I'll spread this out I normally put all my food scraps through my mulcher but I thought I wouldn't do it with this beetroot because um, oh, it'll be like an explosion of colour and I don't think that's I'd probably never ever get the stains out of the mulcher not that it really matters but because they're beetroot slices I think they will um, break down pretty quickly anyway not sure what's going to happen to the jelly whether it dissolves with a bit of moisture uh, it'd be really interesting to see if the worms come into this so I'll finish spreading it out and then I've cut a new piece of carpet for over the top and now that this bed's back in operation as a test bed, we'll be doing regular tests in here. So I'll spread this out, I'll put the carpet over the top, and we'll check it in about a week or so's time. And uh, just see what's going on. Morning guys, it's bright and early this morning. It's exactly one week since we put the beetroot down for a test, the jellied beetroot. Let's see, well look at the mould on it. Wow, she's really gone mouldy. Um... So it's breaking down pretty nicely, and it's good to see that there's a worm right there. And it looks like there's one under there. Um, so it's going to be eaten. That's excellent news. I'm liking that it went so mouldy. That's good. Oh, yeah, there's worms under there for sure. So it looks like it's going to be no issues. Uh, I'm going to leave it another week. We're actually going away for a few days this week. But I wanted to check it before it got too far gone. So one week it's done lots of mould and the worms have come in uh, by the end of next week or another week's time. I think she'll be just about mostly gone. We'll certainly have good activity. All right, we'll check in then before we finish the video up. Another week has passed. Let's see where we're going with this jellied beetroot. It's been quite warm over the last week and we did go away for a few days. We had a great time. Oh, well, the mould settled down. It's actually looking rather gross. It's all gone sort of greeny, slimy. Um, there's a worm on the back of the carpet when I turned that over, just there. 
but I was kind of expecting to see lots of worms in here. Now interestingly, this greenish type mould, I notice when we have high salt in foods. So I wasn't aware that this beetroot or jellied beetroot would have high salt. And salt is something that really does muck up the worms. Yeah, that's gone disgustingly sludgy. Um, can't see any worms at the moment. I've got this, oh, there's one down below. Down that bottom of that hole I just dug. I see a few of these little things. They're kind of bluey, blacky, slimy worm type things as well. And I don't know what they are. So if you know what they are, let me know. Um, I have a suspicion that they're not necessarily friends of worms. So yeah, give us some information on that if you can. I don't think that's enough to muck up worms coming in here. I think this beetroot has just gone through another decaying phase and the worms don't seem to be super interested. Oh, there's worms underneath, look at that. So they're coming up from underneath. Remembering that there was no worms at all in this spot when I first dug through it. So they're in here, they're gonna eat it. But, oh yeah, look at that underneath there. There you go, they're just coming up from underneath. They've obviously got to wait, beautiful. They've obviously got to wait until the right bacteria is going on. Oh, there's some good healthy looking ones. So yep, I don't think we're gonna have a problem. I think it's just, perhaps there is high salt content and they've just got to wait until that leaches away. Or wait until some other bacteria do handle that before they then take their turn at coming in and eating the bacteria. So, all right, we won't finish it up just yet. I think we'll give it one more week. I've turned it all over a bit now, so it's a bit hard to recognize. But we'll give it one more week and we'll see if this greenish mold's disappeared and if the worms have come to finish it off. And now we come to the final check on the jellied beetroot experiment. It's been eight days since we last had a look. And there's not much left. Okay, so the worms have been eating away. One just disappeared just then, so we'll dig around underneath. There's one. There's not hundreds of them, but um, I guess there's not a huge pile of food either. But it looks as though the beetroot's pretty well all gone. It's certainly not recognisable. It went to that green sludgy sort of look, and now there's really just a thin layer on the top. Not sure what happened to the jelly. It possibly just kind of dissolved. I can see some little springtails in there and there's certainly worms underneath. So there you go, and one, two, three, all in one spot there. So no problems with uh, the worms eating the beetroot. Oh, there's quite a lot there actually. They're all tangled up in amongst each other so they've almost balled up under there. Uh, so yeah, that's good. We have a successful experiment. Um, the green sort of mould it's gradually just disappeared. Um, so that's yeah, it's a funny green. I'm going to do an experiment soon on on chips, and I've done one. When I say chips, they'll be fries to uh, some of you. And I did do a comparison video on McDonald's and KFC and all those a while back, and all those had salt on them, and we did get that greenish, fluffy mold with the salt. I'm going to do another comparison experiment soon on chips or fries and I'm going to do the same type and just have raw potato, cooked potato or cooked chips and then the same again with salt so that'll give us a good comparison there. Anyway, as far as this goes, our beetroot's been eaten up. Worms have been very helpful in disposing of this mouldy food that I wasn't going to eat and this garden bed is pretty well ready for the next test. Very good. Thanks for watching. See you soon.